What? Why did that activate then? What did I even do? I hit that with... If you hit that with an electric shot, it activates it? No way! Hey everybody and welcome back to LTV Plays Neon Abyss. Now, we have lost a little bit of progress on this because I had a couple of issues uh, recording stuff. For some reason... Oh, no, I don't like these things. Okay, these things appeared on the, uh, one of my previous runs as well. They're new enemies, don't know where they come from, don't know why I'm getting them, but I'm getting them. Um, so yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I had a couple of issues recording. Uh, some of my videos, for some reason, just recorded with absolutely no sound whatsoever. I don't quite know the reasoning for it, it just seemed to... I don't know, OBS just decided to have a little bit of a strop. So, we have a few more of the the gold crystal things than we did previously and I did win a run as this character that we're using now and I was looking forward to moving on to using Matt again but unfortunately we're gonna have to go back we're gonna have to use this character again and try and clear another run as this character before we move on because I want to want to try and do it all as it was intended uh, on camera oh forgot Katana Katana can get me up there whoa what do we get egg and a grenade I mean, that's good. We'll nade straight through there, because... I mean, why wouldn't you? Two chests, give me something good. Two pennies, and there was a penny on the ground. So, one grenade for three pennies? Not not really worth it. Not not in my opinion. Kind of pants, kind of poopy. It's a shame that my last video didn't, um, didn't make it all the way, because there was no sound, what have you. Because the run was so good. It was such a powerful run. Um, on the very first floor, I got something that um, enabled me to have two two treasure rooms per floor. Ended up being such a powerful run. It was insanely powerful. I completely melted through every boss. What is that? Oh, Dangerous Receipt gives you a batch of bombs. I remember. Ten bombs? Ten bombs? That's pretty good. Okay, so now I don't feel too salty about losing, losing the bomb. Well, wasting the bomb, rather. Uh, opening up that treasure room because I mean if we've just got another 10 it's no big deal however I am kind of salty about the fact that my first power up just gives me a bunch of consumables I would very much have liked some more power ups so yeah um, the run that didn't end up being a thing uh, absolutely destroyed everything a flawless multiple bosses which is just madness absolute madness so I think every boss, apart from the first two bosses, I flawless. And I know I, I could just be making this up because obviously nobody's seen evidence of it. But I, I assure you, it was the truth. And it wasn't due to skill or anything like that. It was simply just because the run was that overpowered. It, it was so good. It was so fun. Oh, there's a gren grenade in there. Don't leave the grenade behind. Um, there was like... I don't know, there were about 15 shields just on the ground on every floor that I couldn't carry because I just got that many shields. It was just complete and utter madness. I had so much fun doing it. And sadly, it ended up never being a thing. But, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Because, you know, it's just... We, we, can, we can make that progress back and... It's a roguelike. There's going to be plenty of other runs that work on us in a similar way to that. Um, maybe if I grenade that first. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's worth spending a few coins on. Please open, please open. First try! These things were really screwing me on, on my previous run, though. I broke, like, three of those, and it was really doing my head in. Because I was kind of low on money anyway, and it just it just wasn't good. Okay, that didn't quite work as planned. I was hoping that was going to blow that up as well. However, that is good to know that you can grenade through there without blowing that up. Um, for if there's if there's a crystal chest here, then at least I know that I'm not going to damage it if I blow up the bottom path first. Um, still not been... Oh, we have been to the treasure room. The treasure room sucked. Hopefully there's going to be a challenge room or something, because I'd like a better power-up, please. Okay, managed to get the crystal, which I'm pleased about. Fortunately, there weren't any enemies that fire projectiles, and I don't have any minions at the minute to fire projectiles either. So there was nothing to screw that up for me too much. I expected to take a bit of damage on the way there, though. 
kind of pleased that I didn't, obviously. But I, I did really expect to. Um, oh, shop. Uh, can't really make use of the shop. But I am going to open the door anyway. Just to get that tiny little bit of extra progress to the wisdom deal. What is that? I want that. What is it? Oh yeah, there's been an update for the game as well. Apparently. So, Vibrant Ball is temporarily no longer a thing. Um, I mean, this, this change has been in place for a while on the experimental version, I think. But uh, currently Vibrant Ball is not a thing. I think it will be coming back at some point. I think the developers are just reworking... Uh, we're reworking how he works, making a few changes about the Vibrant Ball. So it, it may very well make a return, but it's going to be a lot more bearable than it was before when it does come back, I hope. And um, we'll teleport down this way. Yeah, so they're no longer a thing, and I think like just other things like bugs and things like that have been ironed out. I wonder if they've added the crosshair thing. I've, I've heard of crosshair being a thing. But I've never really thought to check. Screen shake, uh, aim assist, no, no, none of that. Um, video? No, I didn't think it would have been in video. Uh, it's not going to be in sound. Control that? No, it's not going to be in there. Okay, so the crosshair isn't isn't a thing yet. But I hope that is like a permanent change that they make. I know at the minute, in the experimental build when you aim, even with a controller, it shows like a little crosshair on the screen, so you can see more accurately where you're aiming. Do I want? Yeah, we'll do it. Why not? It was empty? Oh no, it's not empty, there's enemies. I was gonna say, that's kind of a harsh move. Oh, then again, this is worse. I I'd rather it was empty than this. Or is it? Is this a challenge room, maybe? Some sort of weird, sick, twisted challenge room. And you're gonna give me a power-up? It is a challenge room! This is the worst challenge room, it's tiny! You can't do this to me! Oh, especially with a teleporting enemy as well. Oh wow, this is bad. This is harder than the boss! Behave yourself! Oh, okay then, okay. This better be worth it. Espresso, don't know what that does. Last hope is good. You might receive extra shields after each battle. That is, that is really good. Oh, I forgot about the lasers. It's fine, there's plenty of health knocking about. So, we're gonna teleport to you. Ooh, was that a thing before? It now shows more than, more than one thing for each room. Is that, has that always been a thing? Or is that new? I feel like that's new. Maybe it's not new. Maybe I'm just stupid. But I do, I do definitely feel like that's, that's a change that's been made. Interesting. I hope that's new. If I've just never noticed that before, then... No, I'm sure it wasn't a thing. I'm almost positive it wasn't a thing. Either way, I'm happy to see that that, that is a thing now, whether it was previously or not. Oh, George, the God of Pills. Generally quite an easy first floor boss. This is one that I'm usually relatively pleased to see for the first floor. I know he does spawn a few minions, but it gives you a chance to get a bit of extra cash from stepping on the worms. And it's generally not too difficult of a boss. Ooh. The shots he fires do catch me off guard occasionally though. And he smushed me, which is not good. I'm not a big fan of being smushed. Oh, he's got me again. He's moving a lot faster than I remember. Oh, I'm on Abyssal difficulty. Maybe that's the thing. Oh! So maybe, maybe they've made some changes about how Abyssal difficulty works as well. Or just all the difficulties. Because I really don't remember this thing being able to jump that far previously. So... Running backwards is definitely not an option anymore. I need to be prepared to run under him at the very first jump that it goes. Because if I don't, then I am I am 100% screwed. Oh, okay then. So he didn't jump as far that time, which is kind of kind of a not not a very nice move. We're not going to fail this. Not not this soon. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Have a grenade. The grenade did absolutely nothing. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Paper windmills, bullets a bit more room, increased rate of fire and weapon damage. Okay, that's 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 a welcome a welcome power up. Definitely welcome. That is a bad that's a bad start. Definitely a bad start to the run. Um I'm gonna teleport over here, hopefully Hopefully we'll get back up to full health again. Um in here there was more hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We need a key. Definitely need a key. That was something else on the previous run. I'd got like some amazing synergy going on with keys. Um, I'd got, if you didn't have a key, you could use an egg. And if you 
every time you use a key, you have a chance to get an egg. And then right at the end of the run, I got, um, if you hatch an empty egg, you have a chance to get a key. And I'd also got, if you hatch an empty egg, you have a chance to get a bomb, but I wasn't really that fussed about that. It was just the fact that I could use an egg to open a, a locked chest or a locked door. And then, even though I wasn't using a key and I was using an egg, it still counted as if I was using a key. So I had a chance to get that egg back anyway. And a lot of the times, if I was unlocking a golden chest, there'd be eggs in there. So I'd get eggs from the chest, and I'd get an egg for opening the chest as well. It was absurd. It was so good. So, okay, these are new. These are new. What even are you doing? Firing squiggly music symbols at me. How do I get out of there? Okay, let me through. I couldn't move for a while then. It's like it stunned me or something. These things are bad. If they get you cornered, there is literally nothing you can do. Because the shots wiggle about all over the place. Something good. Got an egg. Egg's fine. Anything in here? Nah, not, not really what I want, but you know, it's fine. It may come in handy later on. So I'm not doing very good at wisdom deal progress at the minute. Okay, managed to get to that in time, which is nice. Really don't like those things. I mean, the cabbages, cabbages are fine. Even if it is a zombie cabbage, I can just snipe them from up here. It'll take an absolute eternity to kill, apparently. But we can just pick them off from up here. Squish the worms, squish them. Yeah, we got a little bit of money. And something nice. Yeah, I got some money. And a crystal as well, so... Okay, well, turning the progress back around on the wisdom deal, which is nice. Because that boss fight that we did previously like, really lowered it because of all the hits we were taking. So hopefully we can continue to turn that back around. I want to make this into a really powerful run again, like the last one was. Probably not going to quite be on a par. But if we can get at least a little bit close... Close to resembling what it was like. That'd be nice. Yeah, you never stood a chance. I mean, if someone's shooting at you, you don't just run at run at the bullets. You like need to duck and dive and dip and dodge and roll and you know all sorts of maneuvers. You don't just run straight into the fire. You're gonna get yourself killed doing that. I find that a lot of people on shooting games do that as well. Someone's like blasting at them with a machine gun, and they're just like run at him, melee attack, B button. It's not, not the best move. Definitely not the best move. Some situations it can work out, but more often than not, you're just going to die. More often than not, the machine gun is going to win in, in that battle. You're, you're not Naruto. You cannot run like the wind and dodge bullets. I actually don't know if Naruto can dodge bullets. I've never actually seen Naruto. It's, it's just not something I've ever watched. But, you know, it is like... Meant to be speedy and a ninja and whatever you're into, I think. As far as I'm aware. So you'd assume that... I don't know. You, you, you sort of get what I'm trying to say. I hope. Maybe you don't. Please be something good. Bomb immune is not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. If we can get some sort of amazing bomb synergy going on, then... Then, you know, it, it could work out good. Um, This way. Something else I'd like to see in the game is more power-ups that, like, increase damage of explosions. Because whilst popcorn's good and the rocket launcher things are good, I feel like the damage of them is, like, really, really lacking. But if, if there was power-ups that increased the damage of explosions, like all explosions and not just your grenades, that'd be sweet. What is that thing? Okay, get extra bonus when you pick up coins. I don't know what the extra bonus is, but I'll, I'll take it, I guess. Got a little Hello Kitty thing hanging from his gun now, which is weird. You know, it's a bit, bit strange, but, you know, it's fine. Could have had, like, more... more intimidating-looking gun accessories than Hello Kitty. Then again, if someone came at me with a machine gun and got a Hello Kitty face strapped to it, I think I'd be pretty scared. I think I would be pretty, pretty terrified. Just kill the thing, dude. These things are immortal. Ooh, we got the deal. Okay, we're gonna head back. There's no teleporter in the next room, so we'll head back this way. Towel, towel, towel. Give me towel. It's not a towel. I actually don't like either of these things. Wizard sword sucks. 
Silver Compass is alright, but... I mean, there's much better things to have than a full map. I'm gonna explore the entire thing anyway. I mean, I guess it helps because then I can focus on heading towards where I want to head first. But other than that, it's not not something that I'm that fussed about getting. That platform came back at the wrong time. That was the worst time for that platform to return. Oh, money. Give me the money. Okay, got another shield. I love being able to get shields just all the time. It makes me so very happy. Something nice, please. Another chest. And an aid. Ooh, more shields. Okay, so health-wise, I think we're going to be relatively set for this run. Um, yeah, we'll open that. Set off that wisdom deal going again. Um, I don't know. What is this? This is a guitar. We've had guitars before. But is it going to be a good guitar? We'll try it. Rainbow. I don't think I've ever had that. Uh, drop random pickups cost some coins. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that definitely is a different guitar. And uh, doesn't do melee damage. Hmm. I was kind of hoping it would do melee damage, but it doesn't. Makes some funky noises. I know that much. Um, yeah, we've, we've got plenty of bombs. We might as well open that up. I only have one key, though. Should have thought that through. There's a key in the shop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can afford it as well, which is even better. Oh, keys and bombs are 30 coins? I always thought they were 15. So now I have two keys, and there's two challenge rooms. I think I'd rather take the challenge rooms than the chests. I know there's a chance that we'd get more keys and stuff in the chests, but I would definitely rather just focus straight on the challenge rooms. Uh, it's a chance to get the keys. I'd rather be guaranteed a power-up. Okay. This gun doesn't seem all that good. I'm firing random purple things in all sorts of weird directions. Oh no, I'm firing all sorts of different colored things. I don't really know why. And I'm not even firing them at anything. They just seem to be completely random. It'd be cool if they actually targeted stuff. Instead of just scattered about the place. But maybe with a high rate of fire, or multiple shots or something like that, this could actually turn out pretty good. Leave me alone. You shouldn't even be here, the room's cleared. Upgrade your weapon, increase rate of fire. Oh, so now it fires more colourful things because it's upgraded. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Um, what does the active item cost? 20 coins. Hmm. It drops random pickups. Okay. I mean, I'm not best pleased about that. Because it was kind of a waste. However... It was, it was something. It could be interesting. It doesn't cost me any crystals. And um, we're onto a violence deal now because I've taken damage, which kind of sucks. You know, it's fine. I'll be happy to work towards a violence deal. Maybe I get something to give us a little bit more damage. No, no, this gun doesn't deal very, very good knockback at all. But it doesn't deal any knockback by the looks of it. It's crap for them enemies. That was the worst. Okay, so it's good for some things. It fires a lot of weird colourful stuff everywhere that seem to do status effects, which is nice. But it's not good. It is not good for, for knockback. Upgrade your weapon, increase movement speed slightly. Oh, look at all the colourful things now, though. Ooh. You know, I do quite like it. It's not the best at the minute. But it's kind of unique. Um, we need hell. There was many, many health in here, right? Yeah, give me all that health. Okay. It's not looking too promising at the minute. Damage is kind of poor. I'm going to go this way quickly and grab that crystal. Yeah, damage is kind of poor. Gun, weird. It's alright, but weird. You know, it's just a bit strange. It could, it could definitely be better. Wisdom deals, not looking great. Survivability, it's not looking too bad. Could be better, but it's not looking too bad. Okay, I should be able to handle this boss relatively well, I hope. Let's hope it doesn't do anything weird and derpy if I use if I get it with like an electric hit or anything like that. 
did good damage to it then. I don't even know what I did then. I did like real good damage to it. Oh my word. Oh, this gun's just got really good damage. Like since since when? It seemed crap for room clearing. But I'm absolutely devastating this boss. And I haven't really even had any damage upgrades. Okay. Where could it go? I mean, it's not the best damage I've ever seen, but it's up there. That is pretty good. Oh, multiple shots. Extra bullets and increased weapons range. Oh, just look at it. It's so beautiful. I like it. I've never used it before, like ever, in all my time playing this, even in my spare time. I've never even seen it. Never mind, used it. Maybe, maybe it's because I've got to a point where all those new enemies are appearing. Maybe, maybe that's why there's like new items appearing as well. Because I'm sure I've had something else on this run that I've never seen. Um, no, no, I ain't. I lied. Just the gun. I was thinking of the receipt that we got at the beginning because I didn't recognize it straight away. But I have had the receipt before. And, you know, it's it's not great, but give me a few bombs to be playing with early on. Yeah, the, the damage does seem kind of crap against just standard enemies. But, oh, I shouldn't have jumped then. I didn't realise it was going to target above me. Yeah, it does seem kind of crap for just standard enemies. But at the same time, you know, I think... Maybe, maybe it's just me judging it too quickly. Maybe it is better. And maybe it's just my aiming that's crap. And those enemies were metal as well. The metal enemies generally take long to take out. I'm not too pleased about jumping directly into that enemy's shot. It's like I saw it and was like, Oh, I can catch that. And then just jumped straight for it. Okay, I hope I, I, hope I can still get up there. I don't know why I jumped over that either. That was just like flexing my jump abilities. Like, yeah, see how good I can jump? I avoided this bullet. It was like nothing to flex about whatsoever. But, you know. Okay. Not a fan of these things. What even is this? What What are they? Why is there all the new enemies suddenly? Could the new enemies be to do with the update? Maybe. Because you'd think if there were going to be just new enemies randomly introduced... They'd be randomly introduced when you get to the next difficulty. That's a, at least that's what I'd, I'd assume. But I didn't see them straight away. They appeared like after a couple of runs at the next difficulty. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't fully understand. Getting closer to that deal though. We are very low on health at the minute, which is not good. But we are getting close to the deal. Still kind of naff for the knockback. So I'm going to have to be very careful against these. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe they'll just all die really quickly. And a lot of them will just crash into the ground and be frozen and electrocuted and all sorts of weird stuff. Stormtrooper! Imperial Force. Uh, Chan shall fire a laser. Ooh. Okay. I like lasers. Why did it... Why did it say something about like whether or not it hits is another story or whatever it said? Whether or not it hits anything is another matter. Seems pretty accurate. I expected it to be a bit more random than that. Or maybe it was just a reference. Because stormtroopers fire like wildly and never hit anything. Yeah, that's probably it. So it's not an actual gimmick for the... Ooh. That was good. So yeah, it's not like an actual gimmick for the for the weapon. Um, I don't want to use my key. I don't. Uh, but more of just a reference to where, where the power-up came from. I think, I think that's probably the case. Maybe I've just been really dumb. Okay, I don't like the ghosts. The ghosts can burn in H-E-double-L. For all I care. I really do dislike them. So I want to try and save as much money as I can now because we've got the mercenary lord. I don't want that. I know what that is. I don't want it. That's exploding money. We don't want exploding money. I want to be able to keep the money. So it's kind of a waste of a key and a waste of a treasure room. Kind of wish I'd opened that chest. But, you know, mis mistakes were made. It's fine. Everybody makes mistakes. It's how you learn. But then again, if I could redo it, I'd probably do exactly the same thing. Because you never know what's going to be in that treasure room. I, I, was I wasn't aware that it was going to be completely crap. Okay, this could be a challenge for this gun to do. 
Oh, then again, if I... Yeah, maybe if we do it like that. And then, do any of these shots go through rocks? I feel like the elemental ones do, maybe? Yeah, they seem to go through walls and rocks and everything. I mean, we ended up climbing up there anyway. And we got nothing out of it, so it was a complete waste of my time. Ah, never mind. Is there anything else... Is there gonna be, rather, anything else worthwhile on this floor? Man, I really judged this gun way too soon. This gun is really good. I mean, I don't think it's gonna take the spot of my like new favorite gun or anything like that. But, you know, it's it's got potential. I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. No, I'm not I'm not gonna mess with that. We'll open this, we'll get the deal. Um well quickly check the shop, I guess. Mm, nah, there's not anything I'm interested in there. Fortunately, because I'd like to keep the money. But if there was something tempting in there, then obviously I'd take whatever was tempting. Um, samurai thing. Samurai thing's got to be it. I love the samurai soul. It's good. Chance to fire a big bullet. It seems like a very high chance to fire a big bullet by the looks of that, which is madness. There's just big bullets everywhere. Um, not really anything else I can make use of around here. Uh, there could be a secret room in either of those two, but I've only got one bomb left. Burnt through those bombs so fast. I don't know how I burnt through them all that fast. Got a bit of coin. Hopefully this will go down relatively quick, because I don't, I don't really like this boss. Catches me off guard very easily. With its little bombs, absolutely obliterated it. Gave me all that money. Oh, ho, ho. even better. Um, so we've got earth bread, is that just a heart container? I think it was. Not really anything else to see on that floor, so we'll move on. This is going well! I managed to turn it around, I think. It started off really crap, but it is definitely turning itself around. Okay, it turned itself around, it would be more accurate. Not I managed to turn it around, because I didn't really do anything. It just, just sort of turned itself around. I'll come back to that. It could be worth it for that shield, but maybe I could find better use for the bomb. I'll also come back to that one, if we get more bombs. Oh, I could use money to get items, but then I'm going to lower my damage. I don't really want to do that. Oh, I didn't know where to go there. Maybe if I get like a ridiculous amount of money, then I'll start using the active. But until then, I'm not that bothered about doing it. Especially when Grabber's on the scene, because Grabber's going to take all my cash. So, it's better to save the money while I can. What is that thing doing? A purple bear was just like dancing. He was like on one leg with his arms out, just like, yeah. He was just like buzzing out. He was loving loving life right there. Well, up until I took it away from him anyway. Sound, sounds kind of harsh when you put it that way. That's, that's not quite how I meant it. I mean, I guess that's really the only way I could have meant it, but still. It just it just sounds kind of bad. Um, Am I going to be able to get out of here in time? If I throw it this way, maybe, and then drop down. No, it just exploded instantly, which is weird. And Grabber got all the coins? How? Oh, you are kidding me. I did not land on that. I am certain I did not land on that. Oh, what hit me then? Was there a teleporting enemy that I didn't see? I know something hit me. I just don't know what it was. Grabber, no, 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 Grabber. It's like he took the coin and then dropped a bigger coin. And then took the bigger coin. He could have at least left me something. He's so greedy. He's the greediest little... I don't even know what. He's just greedy. There's no need for the greed. Um, I don't really want a gun. Golden Ripple sounds kind of cool, but I don't want it. I don't know what this does. The more coins you have, the more damage you do. Wait, what? Is that not... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. The more coins you have, the more damage your weapon does. Okay. And what was the other thing I've just got down here? The more coins... Oh, the more melee damage you do. Oh, ah, interesting. Very interesting. So it's a shame this gun's not a melee focus gun. Otherwise, both of those things would work for this gun. I need a melee focus gun. I have, I have in my run that nobody saw because... You know, it's it's a run that nobody saw. But I have discovered I have a new favourite weapon. I cannot remember what it's called, 
but it is amazing. It is a gun that I previously thought was really crap, and it is not crap. It is it is really good. Okay, this is this is tricky. I knew that was going to happen. Fine, violent steel it is. Give me the violent steel. I don't care. Yeah, so it's a gun that shoots a laser. And previously I thought it was a really crap gun, but it is a fantastic gun. Crap it! No! He took the big coin and gave me a crap coin. It's fine. It's fine. I, I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, we can handle it. What is that? I don't want to waste the money. No, I'm not I'm not going to waste money. We'll, we'll just keep whatever money we've got. That could have been a really good power-up, but... You know, we can we can live without it. We don't need it. This is going so well. I mean, we're not we're not really doing good for health or anything at the minute. But other than that, it's not going bad at all. Oh it didn't blow up the thing! Oh you have got to be kidding me. Oh I need another bomb. I thought it was gonna get both and it didn't. Oh why? Please be a bomb in this final room. Please. Please, I beg of you, give me a bomb. Or give me something that needs a bomb. Great. Okay. Was there anything that needed a key? I have a key. No, I want to I want to save the key. Because we, we're not guaranteed to get more keys. Hunt God of Racing. Is he? Is he a different one? I don't I don't remember one being called Hunt. Oh no. No, no, no. I don't like that the platform disappeared. Okay, this does seem a little bit different. It was firing shots as it was moving. It was a bit weird. Police badge. Extra bullets per shot and increased bullet velocity. Oh, that's good. That is good eats. Um, there's no health about. No, and we needed a bomb for everything else. So we will move on. Floor five. This is where it gets tricky because I start taking more damage. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure we can handle it. You know, we're going to take a full heart of damage every time we take a hit, even from those doors, which is kind of harsh, but I'm sure it'll work out alright. There's plenty of shields in there that I could buy, if we need them. And as long as I just take it steady, I know I do need to take a couple of hits, um, in order to get my deal. Maybe just one hit, I'm not sure. It depends. But we do need to take some sort of damage, whether it be from a crystal or from a crystal door, or from an enemy, we do need to take damage of some sort to finish the violence deal. Like in being able to shoot through walls, even if it's just with the random shots that go wherever they want, it's still good. More eggs? Eggs is good. I don't really have anything special that we can get from the eggs at the minute, but it's still good. And I, I'm happy, I'm happy to see them. Did not mean to run directly into that enemy. So I just see something spiking, I'm just like, you know what? It's, it's covered in spikes, let's step on it. Step on the spiky thing. It, it seemed like a good idea at the time. It wasn't. It was not a good idea. Maybe I should be using the katana. With the other power-up that I got. Ooh, I don't want the guns. I'm happy with the gun that we've got, so I've got to take the power diamond. Uh, both melee and weapon damage, was that? I'm sure that's what that is. Yeah, melee and weapon damage. We definitely need a melee focused gun now. If I can get a melee focused gun, then this run is going to be like off the charts with damage. Okay, I'm going to shoot that crystal. It, I know it's going to happen. Actually, I could have avoided that. I was still firing thinking that there was enemies left and there wasn't. So I could very well have avoided doing that. But it's fine. We're doing it now. We're taking the violence deal. It has been set in motion. We must... We must go through with it. There's no turning back. Come on, just take the thing out before it kills you. Okay. So, didn't get anything good from any of that. But it's fine. Oh yeah, I remember how to do this. So if I just chop carefully there. And then just work his way around. Blow the thing up. And we got a grenade out of it. So at least this time it wasn't a complete waste of time. And because I knew what to do this time, I did it a bit quicker as well, which is always good. That doesn't seem worth it to me. I want nothing to do with that. I can't jump over that very well. So I'm just going to leave it. 
Grabber's going to steal all my stuff, as always. It's fine, though, because I'm pretty confident that soon Grabber will die, and then I'll get loads and loads of money from Grabber. Oh, why would you give me famine now? Oh, famine's so good. I'm not going to do it. I take famine too much. I take it far too much. If I find a gun that deals melee damage, then I will take that. Other than that, I'm sticking with what we've got here. Because, you know, it, it seems it seems like a viable, a viable weapon to use. It was doing decent damage to bosses. It's pretty good for room clearing as well, because it just fires stuff everywhere. I'm taking lots and lots of really dumb damage though, which is not good. I'm just getting hit by everything. I need to be more careful. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Give me the cookies. Every time your pet, pet evolves, you drop a coin. It's not a cookie, it's a chocolate coin. I knew that, but never mind. So every time a pet evolves, Grabber will get a coin. Did I get it? I got it! Haha, <laughs> my coin. No coin for you, Grabby man. It is my coin. Um, I've even got two keys to get in here. That is the best. What is this? Melee damage? More melee damage every time you get hurt in the current room. Definitely need the melee focus gun. Definitely. Please, give me a melee focus gun for, cl for clearing this. If I clear it anyway, I probably won't now. As long as we just take it steady, we should be alright. We're not in a rush to get through it. Uh, Stark module. Um, increased weapon damage and bullet velocity. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, do I use a bomb to get an egg? I don't really think it's worth it. Probably not worth it, so I'm not I'm not gonna bother. Oh, shields. Look at all them shields. Beautiful, beautiful shields. That could be the thing to save me. Because Argus. Argus is now. I could buy shields, but then I'm gonna lose damage. I'm just gonna go straight for the boss. I know it's risky, but I'm gonna do it. I'm going to regret doing this. I know I'm going to regret doing this, but it had to be done. It's kind of tricky to see where anything is as well, which is bad. So I'm going to get hit by one of his minions. I, it's almost guaranteed. No, no, no. We're fine for the minute. As long as we keep moving, we should be all right. Usually relatively safe in the middle. Oh, that was a good jump. That was a very good jump. So I flawlessed it. I, d I don't even know how. Upgrade your weapon, increase jump height. Oh, yeah, we are going to fire so many crazy shots everywhere now. This gun is actually really good. I took Argus down pretty quickly then. Plus, firing shots everywhere made it a lot easier for handling his little minions. So, that was good stuff. I just need to get some health back. That's that's the thing. I need to start working on getting some more stuff back. No, grab it, you little thief. They were good coins. They could have given me good damage. Why do you do this to me? It's fine. It's fine. I can deal with it. I can also deal with that happening with that crystal. I knew it was going to happen, so it's fine. What even hit me then? I don't I don't even know what hit me. Something hit me. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's like stuff everywhere. So we are going to hit that. Oh, it's good as the deal instantly. We are so low on health right now. Oh, I am not pleased about that. I need some shields. Desperately, desperately need shields. Fire shots could be good. The lion head could also be good. If I can keep the pets coming in. Oh, no, I'm going to take the fire shots. Because it's the only place that you're going to get guaranteed fire shots. So when it's there, it'd be silly to miss the opportunity. I am going to spend a few coins. So it's going to lower my damage. Skill not ready, what do you mean? Got a chest, oh, and then grab a nick the coin. Please just give me some health. Just some health. Got a key. Okay, that's all my money gone and no health. Great. It's fine. Is there anything in here? There is, there's a chest up there. Oh, it's a grenade chest, but it's fine, we actually have grenades. Okay, okay. There's another chest and a shield. I don't think that shield's going to preserve us, because we're going to lose a full heart's worth of health anyway. But it's something... Oh, I did not expect enemies to be in here! It's fine, it's fine. We handled it. Oh, grab it, you little... Ooh, never mind. 
I take it back. I was going to call him the little thief, but I take it back. Um, what? What? Why did that activate then? What did I even do? I hit that with... If you hit that with an electric shot, it activates it? No way. I had no idea that that was a thing. That is the best thing. So I am going to spend a bit more money on this. But that's fine. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. Focus. Yes, that is the hardest song. I hate that song. And I did it. And it was all for nothing. Every time you kill an enemy with melee damage, the chance you'll receive extra something. Extra what? Coins. Okay, if I get a melee focus gun, then that could be really good. That could be the thing to turn this run around. Definitely. We need a melee focus gun like now. We also need to be mega, mega careful. Don't jump into shots like that. I didn't think it was going to fire upwards, and it did. Just kill the things, dude. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just take it steady. Okay, okay, okay. Don't jump into that. I never think that it's going to fire upwards. It's like it, it's targeting happened after I jumped. What is that noise? Why is my game possessed? I don't like it. I don't like it. What was that? Oh, no, my difficulty. No. Why has it changed? Oh. So you lose abyssal difficulty? If you lose? No. No. Okay, never mind. Oh, have we got enough? I need another five for the character. Okay. So, I'm going to leave this video here, obviously, because I failed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.